Hello and welcome, I'm Gorgin and today I'm going to talk about digital signature. Imagine person A wants to send a letter to person B with two conditions. First, person A must be able to deny he sends the letter. And second, person B can make sure really person A sends the letter, not anyone else. Something like what happens in checks so in real world it can be done by signature and in digital world it can be done by digital signature before we talk about digital signature let's have a brief introduction about encryption that is a service of cryptography there are two major types of encryption available symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption in symmetric encryption, the data can be encrypted by a key and decrypted with exact same key. For example, person A can encrypt the data with a key and person B can decrypt the data with exact same key. On the other hand, in a symmetric encryption, anyone has its own pair of keys a public key and a private key. Private key must be kept safe with owner and public key can publish publicly. In this kind of encryption, the data encrypts with a key and can only decrypt with its pair. For example, if person A want to send a letter to person B, can encrypt the letter with person B's public key and person B even receives the letter can decrypt it with his private key. But how it can play a role in digital signature? To create digital signature, first the sender must calculate the hash of data and then have to encrypt it with his private key. The result is digital signature, so he have to add it to original data. The result is digitally signed data. On the other hand, for validating digital signature, the receiver should separate data and signature. Then he have to decrypt digital signature using sender's public key. The result should be hash of data then have to calculate hash of original data and compare them together if hashes are equal then signature is valid else digital signature is invalid so that was the mechanism behind digital signature in next video i'll talk about how to use it in node.js thank you for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel and put the comments below see you soon